Okay, this is a very quick video to show you how to connect Ableton to C-Sound via Jack Audio. First thing we want to do is open up Jack Pilot. Hit the start to start the audio server. And then just click on routing to make sure that's opened up. Next thing is to open up Ableton Live. Uh, and in our audio preferences, set our audio output device to built-in and the input device to jack router. And then we can see it appearing there in the send and receive ports. Next thing we want to do is open up C sound. Close these old, old programs and in preferences, make sure our real time audio module is core audio and set the input and output devices to jack router. Supply. Okay. Um, to set up the, to connect the jack router, let's open up a basic example, basic elements opcodes. Move that off to the side so we can see the jack router. In the connections, I'm going to first click on the system send port and disconnect uh, anything that's in the connections by just double clicking on it and also click on live, disconnect those by double clicking. Um, and then I'm going to press play or run in C sound, click on the connections manager, click on C sound, and then double click on live. And the connection's made. I can close that for now. And if I go into live, on an audio channel, and set it to input monitoring, and run the script in C sound, we can see it's going through into our channel. Finally, to send MIDI back from Ableton to C Sound, I'm going to go to my audio MIDI setup. Click on the MIDI Studio. And I'm going to make sure that when I double click on the IAC driver, that the device is online. If it's already unticked, make sure you tick it. I can close that in Ableton, go to the MIDI tab, and make sure the output of my IAC driver is set to track and remote. And then in C sound, preferences, make sure the real time MIDI input is coming from the IAC driver and also MIDI output is IAC driver. From there, I can open up an example like um, receiving MIDI notes from the getting started examples. And if I run this code, it's running down here, we can see, and then go back into Ableton, whip up some MIDI data, set the output of this channel to an ISC driver bus and hit play. You can see now the back MIDI is going out the ISC driver and triggering my sound in here. And can edit the sound, lower the sustain perhaps, and increase script, I click on stop, run it again, might have to save it the second time, just save it anywhere, and you can hear now the effects of my changes in the edit stuff. And that's it, that's audio from C-Sound to Ableton, and MIDI from Ableton to C-Sound.